The kits consist of two stretch sensors, uh, one Bluetooth sensing circuit. The circuit interrogates the sensors, captures the data and transmits it to your smartphone or tablet or PC or what have you. Um, we make an app available for free on the Google Play Store, so if you've got an Android device then it's really easy to get started, but there's no reason it can't work with you know, an iOS or, or any other computing system. It's a very straightforward communication protocol, um, and there are a million app developers on the planet who can work with it. The sensors are very, very good for measuring deformation of soft structures like the human body. So uh, you can put it on the body, you can glue it into clothing, you can sew it into things, you can bolt it into things, you can just really put it anywhere that there's something soft that you want to measure. And um, when the structure moves, so when someone like an athlete, I don't know, kicks a ball or a patient does an exercise, moves their finger after rehabilitation, whatever, um, the sensor stretches as well, and that gets picked up by the circuit and the smartphone and so on and so forth. I'd be really excited to see it rolled out in um, augmented reality or possibly healthcare. I think these are two kind of mass market uh, applications, which would be really neat to see. And they also have the potential to really change people's lives. I think from an augmented reality point of view, it provides new ways to interact with devices. And I think this is going to be really critical as traditional avenues such as touch screens start to become a little outdated. Um, from a health and wellness point of view, I think it really is a problem that people can't take the lessons they learn in the clinic into the home and that can't be tracked. And I think we could materially drop the cost for people because it means they get less time actually you know, paying the doctor, um, but also improve their recovery rates with, with some medical applications. Yeah, so it's kind of a cool, uh, fun application of this technology is that you can actually measure hand motion very, very accurately um, and potentially a lot cheaper than existing methods. Previous stretch sensing technology has never been very stable or reliable or repeatable, so that means that you need to do a lot of work constantly recalibrating and your systems become very complicated to deal with these deficits. But stretch sensors, um, stretch sense, stretch sensors, um, based on capacitive technology are very uh, precise, stable, robust, and that gives you a lot of certainty and makes it very easy to measure a hand. The sensors, uh, as small as you want, is the, the, the businessman in me. The uh, engineer says with our current manufacturing methods, a few millimeters is perfectly achievable. In fact, some customers have asked for sensors on that size scale. Um, but really you can keep, you know, there are physical limits, but as big or as small as you want.